I woke up one morning, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you are going to ruin your life if you keep doing what you're doing. And there is nobody coming to save you. There's nothing that frustrates me more than seeing a man with massive potential, with skills and with something to contribute, but to not be getting the results that they want and not to be able to see that in the external world. And I know because I was trapped in this kind of mindset before as well. And in this video, I wanna share some lessons that have helped me, three in particular that were the most impactful, these kind of reframes and ways of thinking that I hope shed some light on how you can become a better man, become the best version of yourself and really be able to break through any barriers to be able to get to where you wanna be. So let's jump straight into it. Number one is taking radical responsibility and ownership from where you are. I can't even tell you the amount of times as I was growing up in my teenage years where I would just fall victim to my circumstances. I would start blaming my family, I would start blaming my friends, I would start blaming my environment. All of it was everybody else's fault and none of it was my fault. I would go out and I would get sucked into smoking weed with different you know, friends at the time. That would lead me to go drinking for a couple of days and get caught up in this whole instant gratification life where really at the end of the day, everyone who I was surrounded by just seemed to be pretty depressed with their life. And that was the reality of where I was. I was just attracting more things into my life based on how I was feeling myself. And then we would all go drinking together. That was kind of the way things were working. And this for me was like a getaway. It was like an excuse because it was easier for me to just say that it's everybody else's fault except my own. And it was only after a couple of days of drinking and partying and going to festivals and doing all these things to escape my reality. It was only when it came to a point where I got so bad, I got so low, I woke up one morning, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you are going to ruin your life if you keep doing what you're doing and there is nobody coming to save you. And when I said this to myself, it was the start of me taking ownership and responsibility over my life. See, up until that point, I had been blaming everybody else. But I had some dark moments along the way where I would go to parties, I would break down, I would leave, I would go walking and I would just try to figure out and try to comprehend these negative thoughts and feelings and emotions that I was going through because everything was just all, all over the place. Because I was intoxicated, I was blaming other people and it was just a weak life to be living as a man. And it was only when I woke up that morning and I took responsibility, I started to remove the people in my life that weren't serving me. I had to step away from some of the actions and events that I was attending. I had to say no to a lot of things that I was always saying yes to. And it was only when I started to do that over a long enough period of time, I eventually got to a point where I just went into solitude. I quit everything. I went all in on online business and I started to make progress in myself personally and also professionally and making money online, traveling and things like that. And that's where I've got to today. You can never change anything in your life until you actually face the fact that you are solely responsible for it. And the more you blame other people, the more you blame the government, the news, the environment, anything that comes up, the more you blame that, the more you give away power to that thing. And the worst thing you can feel as a man is powerless. So even though it was a hard pill to swallow, when I took ownership and responsibility over my life, I was able to put myself in the driver's seat to actually make a change. Number two is fuck happiness, focus on progress, focus on service, and start to earn your respect instead of chasing love and validation from other people. As I mentioned earlier in my life, I was giving away responsibility to things that I needed to take ownership over. Now, this led to other things like seeking validation in women, seeking validation in other people, seeking love and looking for things to be able to come into my life and actually save me or fix me or make me feel like I was you know, powerful and respected. When really, at the end of the day, the only thing that can actually make you feel respected is first of all earning your own respect and becoming self-led to the point where you actually are taking action towards something that you believe in building a vision for yourself and moving towards that helps you build self-respect and when you build self-respect you stop looking for validation in other people because you do not need it I truly believe that the majority of our problems that we perceive to be problems are just because we're focusing so much on ourselves but when we focus on serving others and helping others it takes the focus away from us and allows us to channel our energy into helping other people achieve greatness or helping other people achieve more or helping other people just solve problems. When we're so focused on ourselves, we get so self-indulgent that we just create problems and we get caught up in our emotions and these things just don't serve us. They just cost us time and energy. When we can channel that into the service of others and progressing within ourselves, 
building self-respect and earning our own respect, becoming self-led, that's when we truly feel happy as a man. And that's something that I've learned that may be different for you, but that is something that has worked for me. When you have a vision that you're working towards, when you find your North Star, you find your purpose, you find the thing that lights you up, everything else can say no to. And that's a very, very powerful place to be. Because from what I've learned from the people who are the most successful, they're the people who have that direction and that focus and that impulse control to be able to move towards that one thing and is contributing to something that they find meaningful. This is different for everybody. And if you want to learn more about finding your purpose, I have a video on that. So definitely check that out. But when it comes to the vision, the vision is the thing that's going to get you up out of bed on the days that you do not want to do anything. It's going to get you up on the days where you don't know what your next move is. If you can think of the big picture, what is the big thing that you're working towards and you build that and you get very clear on that and you keep refining that, that allows you to focus on taking things off on a day to day basis focusing on the progress, focusing on earning your respect and becoming self-led to be able to actualize that vision. That's really all we can do as a man because it's fo we're focusing on what we can control. That actually brings me to number three, which is emotional management. What I've learned from studying mindset, from studying psychology, from studying human behavior, the people who make the most progress in the fastest time possible have mastered their mindset. And when we break mindset down, it comes down to managing your emotions. If you can manage your emotions, you won't be pulled in all these different directions. You won't be getting shiny object syndrome. You won't be able to be held back by past events or past false perceptions that are stopping you from actually taking the actions you need to take to get to you where you want to be. When we can balance these things out, see things as neither positive nor negative and just see them as neutral we take away the power that they're holding against us and we take back ownership over what we can actually do which ties into what i said at the beginning but we all have these past events and things that have happened in our lives which have shaped how we view reality so if you're suffering from things like self-doubt and frustration and anxiety and fears and all these different things that we all have in different ways if you're suffering from these things it's because you have an imbalanced perception of what they actually mean to you really what we want to do is remember the principle of polarity that there is no good and there is no bad there is only neutral if things are affecting you it means that you're seeing them on one side and not seeing the other side and really what we want to do is see things from both angles balance them as much as possible and be able to see things clearly doing this takes away their ownership over us we take back our power so for me as a man managing my emotions and getting help with these things has been one of the most beneficial things that i have ever done in my life because it has allowed me to make clear decisions to stay on the path to stay focused on actualizing my vision and what i'm here to do and that has led me to be able to do things that I, I thought was only a dream one time in my life so that brings me to the end of this video if you have key takeaways please drop them in the comments below i would love to hear what was going through your mind what are the thoughts that you had would you add anything to what i said would love to hear it in the comments below if you're new to the channel as well subscribe there's going to be videos going out daily over these next 30 days and i'll see you in the next video